Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Wi-Fi Direct on the Raspberry Pi using the TP-Link TLWN725 and Wi-Fi dongle. So if you look around on the Raspberry Pi forum, you'll probably realize that there aren't that many Wi-Fi dongle that supports Wi-Fi Direct lying around right now. And most of them, from my research at least, seems to be used the same Realtek chip. So, uh, so obviously, if you do choose to go with this dongle, um, like I did, the first thing you need to do is enable the driver associated with it. Um, that part of it is actually very straightforward. Uh, most There are other kind individuals on the internet have already posted instruction on how that can be accomplished. For example, uh, this article from Pi3G blog has a very uh, clear and explicit instruction on how to install the custom driver. If you have to, depending on the version of the dongle you got. Again, that's all listed in this article, which I'll, I will include in the video. Um, the part that was less obvious to me, though, was how to actually uh, enable Wi-Fi Direct or initiate a Wi-Fi Direct connection from, say, my Android Nexus 4 to the Raspberry Pi. So here I want to give a quick shout out to uh, uh, user Bass, a base 0324 from uh, the Raspberry Pi form. He posted an article saying that indicated that he has got this working, but I was unable to figure out how to get this to work based on what he has posted. So I reached out to him and he, he very kindly got back to me and then gave me further pointers on how that's accomplished. So in this video, I'll show you how, how what I did to get this to work. And basically what you need to do is you need to check out another repository, which again, I'll include a link of the repository to the video. And, um, and there are sample code of uh, that uses the real tech, um, well, using Wi-Fi commands to initiate and establish a, uh, a Wi-Fi direct connection. So what we should do right now is let's go check out the code. So and then let me do a git clone. And then let's check it out to the real tech directory. I've already done this before, so um, this is just to show you how this is accomplished. So let's just uh, let it think for a bit. Uh, it should not take very long to, to perform the checkout. Okay, good. So now that's going to the real tech directory and let's see what's in there. So what you're interested in is the Wi-Fi direct user interface. Uh, folder. So let's get into that. And let's look what it has. So what you want to do is you want to actually execute this install shell script, but you will realize that there's no executable write associated with this file right now. So let's change that. So now it's green. It's good. Okay. So let's try to try to execute that. And you'll realize that this file has Windows line ending, so we have to fix that as well. So Linux uh, install. Um, I believe by default the DOS to Unix tool is actually not installed, or it doesn't come as part of the image. So uh, you may need to do a sudo apt-get install DOS to Unix if you don't already have this tool. Um, I do, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna enter on that. So, um, right, so let's try to execute this again. And it's complaining that the uh, zip file is not there. So let's look at the actual script. And you will see that what it's trying to do is trying to access a zip file um, from WPA supplicant host APD directory. So let's bring that up. Ah, so yeah, so you see the problem here is that uh, the timestamp or timestamp on the file doesn't actually match what the uh, the script is trying to execute. So let's fix that. So you can do this using any editor of your choice. I'm a VI person, so I just use regular expression to uh, to do the substitution. Um, but you can use any other editor as you like. So now let's see if the file names do match. And they do, so that's good. 
So let's go back and let's try to execute this again. Okay, good. So it's running. So this process will actually take a while. So I'll assume on your end everything just works because um, it did for me. Um, so let's show you what it would look like after it's done. So what you should see is this um, P2P UI executable um, that should be built. So, oh, before we get there, uh, let's see what our Wi-Fi interface looks like. So the uh, you, you need to identify the Wi-Fi interface when you invoke this program. So in, in my case, it's called WLAN0. So that's what I will use. So let's do a sudo um, p2p ui wlan0. So if you have installed and done everything correctly, you should be able to get to this program. OK, so I'll, I'll make another video on how to actually use this sample application. Thank you.